Uh, greetings. This is January 8th, 2016. I'm with an artwork uh, that's owned by a Seattle friend and former co-worker. Uh, a very rare depiction of a Polish Jewish general, Berek Joselowitz. Joselowitz. And um, I did this probably in 1992. It says 1792 Sagano. Dash Sagana. Sagana was my art studio name for years. Sagana was just kind of a play on Segan. And um, I have to look this up because I'm forgetting the exact title, but it was something like um, General Beric Joselovitz rocketing from the moon to, um, to Earth or to Poland, maybe even to the Pacific. Uh, so, well, starting on the left here, what have we got? Uh, it's interesting, when I look at this by itself, it just looks like abstraction until I look right and then I see it's the, uh, it's this kind of multi-tiered, T-I-E-R-E-D, portrayal of this a tail and maybe the whole horse in flight. We've got the uh, general himself wearing a uh, kind of proper, uh, uh, must have been like late, uh, uh, what years did I say? So he was 18, lived 1764 to 1809. So late 18th century, uh, probably military uh, garb, hat. I see the epaulets here, the sword. I'm not sure what this is. It kind of looks almost like a dreidel, but not quite. Um, we have a, a satellite. Um, it looks like we have. Um, Oh, I'm going to have to do a second segment of this uh, video because I I have this um, old um, plaster, uh, I don't know, greenish patinaed uh, bust sculpture of uh, Moses. I don't remember where I got it like decades ago that has uh, horns. It has an interesting story. So I might have, I, although there are no horns here, but I might have depicted this from that, but maybe not. But... Uh, some Jewish prophet, perhaps, from uh, the Jewish scriptures. Uh, I'm just noticing hands over here holding uh, two dowels. Perhaps that's Torah, uh, the Jewish scriptures. And we have planet Earth here. I think this was my depiction of a house in Poland that some... Uh, uh, maybe like Hasidic uh, rabbi lived in or something like that. We have, it looks like a Hebrew letter backwards over here. Um, looks like a half, half moon in odd coloration. Looks like another kind of an upside down reversed Hebrew letter here and another, uh, that's a letter K, Kaf over here and another Hebrew letter over here. Anyway, most unusual um, I think on a, in a Google image search, I only saw two or three artworks from whenever. Uh, of course, there could be more that aren't uh, on the internet, but evidently a, a rare uh, subject matter. I think he was the uh, first Jewish general in, uh, in modern history, at least let's say over the last few centuries, uh, since uh, like ancient uh, times around the what was it? I guess the fall of the uh, Second Temple in the Roman era. Anyway, there you have it. General Beric Joselowitz rocketing through space. Just like I pictured it. There you have it, Bards of Dobje. Is he going to fight the Russians? <laughs> <laughs> the owner just asked, is he going to fight the Russians? Uh, I don't know, we'll, we'll leave that to uh, El, the future um, El Presidente uh, Trump to uh, engage in. I think I might want to read you. March 12th, 2017, this is the um, Moses sculpture. It looks like it's uh, painted uh, plaster. It's pretty heavy that I bought, I don't remember where. I don't remember when, decades ago probably. 
which I used as a uh, kind of inspiration source model in the um, 1992 um, drawing and watercolor of a Polish Jewish general uh, Barak Yoselowitz uh, rocketing uh, from the moon to the earth. And uh, this is good news for Jewish folks like myself. There are like no horns on this Moses, unlike uh, like Michelangelo's Moses and so many depictions of Moses and sculptures and churches and cathedrals and exterior stone carvings and uh, stained glass. I saw a stained glass window in windows and uh, at a church in England two years ago with Moses with the horns and so on engravings and what have you. So all uh, kind of anti-Jewish, anti-Semitic imagery. So uh, I'm glad that uh, Moses here is uh, the only horns he might have had would have been like playing a trumpet. 